So we're going to be doing what I thought was going to be the two box four perk challenge where we take two spins in a box, four of under fifth attempts and that's that. However, it's come to my attention that only Nacked allows you to get every perk from the Devonder Fist of the remastered map from Zombie Chronicles. The rest of them, Farouk, Shino, Numa, and Kino, and the other one? Ascension, that's the one. They only allow you to get the perks which are not already on the map, which kind of puts a spanner in the works. So we're going to be doing the challenge a little bit differently. We're going to allow ourselves to get two spins of the box, as usual, two perks from the map, which we can choose, and then the other two will be from the Devonder Fist. So we will know we'll get either Wither's Wine, Deadshot, and Stamina Up, as well as two perks on the map. I'm also not going to get quick five, so this is a one life challenge. The two spins on the box still counts the same. This was a cool feature. I wish they had something like this on more maps, to be fair. The, you separate it from the start. The power will reunite you. That was a very cool feature. And this is the problem we have. Getting overrun by fucking zombies on round two. We can now go and run all the way to the box, get the first gun, turn on the power, and and have a fun time here, which is all we want. I do prefer being on this side because I think there's less doors to open. We don't have um, quick arrive to begin with, which is a little bit of a shame, but um, we get the end that. That counts as one of the spins in the box. So we have a specialist weapon. I mean, if we get monkey bombs, we are fucked. That's all I'm going to say. And we have to take them because that's the rules of the game. The Annihilate is one of them guns where it's powerful, but the accuracy is pretty goddamn poor unless you aim in, which... I have a tendency not to do that on guns, I'm a big fan of hip firing. We have just enough to spin the box. So if we get the wonder weapon, then I'm gonna be quite happy. If we get like a dingo, I'll be quite happy. If we get the fucking rocket launcher, I'll be pissed. We got oh, We have the dredge and we have the annihilator. So that's a decent combo. We have a, a very powerful weapon which will get us far, got a good a good amount of ammo, and we have a special weapon which will do some power and it's attainable. Right, so we're gonna just try and survive in here until the end of the round. Get Jug, maybe get a Dove Under Fizz and ooh, don't get hurt. We're gonna get a Dove Under Fizz, we're only gonna get um, Speakle and then, yeah, so we get Stamina. Look, like I said, it's a powerful weapon, it, it will take out zombies and it was very, oh fuck, why am I going into a corner? That's never a good idea. <gasps> that is useful. That is gonna be what kills us. Um, the back Samos. Um, we're gonna need them. It'd be so cool if you could go down to this area here. That would be very nice. I know this is a World at War map and it was designed to be small and quite claustrophobic, but a nice area like that in the middle um, would have been very cool. Like, you just open up, say, like, there's like a door here, and you just open it up and be like, yeah. It'd be very tasty. Instead, we're stuck in this little building. Right, so we can actually complete the map. Wait, what? We can open up the entire map now whilst getting this perk or we can just get the Thunder Fizz right now which would be very tempting but I want to open up the entire map right okay so we have one more perk so we can get Deadshot or we can get Widow's Wine honestly I don't know which one's going to be better because well I I just don't ooh ooh ooh, ooh ow 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 we have stamina up that can be used to our advantage we can with the limited training space we have train a bit faster so if we get into a bit of bother we technically have a better chance of doing something productive with our lives. We utilize all of this. Um, oh, but we can get another perk. Fuck it, we're gonna put that away for now. We're gonna buy another perk. I'm hoping for. I don't even care what I get. We get dead shot. Okay, so we're rocking dead shot daiquiri. So that's our four perks there. Right, so we have. Oh, we don't have that much ammo in the dredge. Oh, we have the pistol. Let's see how effective this is. Mm, no, that's not gonna suffice at all. This could be the end of us already if we don't get a max ammo very soon, which is a big concern for everyone involved. We have, if I math this good, this is divided by, by 6, so we have we have 13 blasts of this gun before we are, as they say, royally fucked. You better have a max ammo because I fucking need it. If we don't have a max ammo after these zombies, because I believe these are going to be the last ones of the round, then, you know, we are... Are they still spawning? What? That can't be right. No, 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 no! Ooh. I thought I was trapped there. I do not know what fucking happened. All I know is I thought I was dead and I was not. So we have a death machine at the end of round 11. So we're on round 12, so we're doing 
We're doing something all right. I mean, we have absolutely no ammo. Um, we need to wait for the Annihilator to do something, and I need these zombies to spawn in quite quickly because, yeah, I need that max ammo. Oh, fuck. Right, we have nades. That's all I have. I have nades, and that is it. Then this is it. I mean, it wasn't going to go on any longer, was it? That, oh, that's annoying. Because we had, had we had another gun, and not the Annihilator, I think we could have gone further than that. Because we at least would have had a bit more ammo available to us, not 18 shots of the Annihilator, or whatever you get with it. I'll see you guys whenever I make the next one of these things. <laughs> Thank you.